Elijah, what, how do you, first of all, how do you feel? And secondly, just maybe take us back for the last week or so and, you know, the whole process and, and what, what it was like sitting out the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, I appreciate asking how I feel. I mean, I feel great now. Uh, got my lungs back. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like coping, the high decisions, body aches, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm stepping, you know, really doing things. So I was sitting at the house, you know, push ups, sit up, anything I could, taking a couple of walks. Uh, but yeah, and watching the game, obviously, it's like watching the game from the house. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty turned, you know, for the, for the win. Zach going off, MC. The 100 yard rushing game, I was just up for that. All line play well, defense play well, uh, too. So that was, was fun. Other than the last week, obviously, when, you, when you're sitting out, looking at it as a whole, how do you think your rookie year has gone? Uh, I think it's gone, uh, you know, well, obviously, uh, a rookie year, any year is always going to be some ups and downs. So you know, uh, not thinking about it now, but, you know, after the season, being able to, you know, go back and evaluate, you know, what I did, uh, you know, right and wrong, you know, what I to, you know, improve on, um, you know, that's what I'm going to do and, you know, come back better next season. Elijah, we were talking to some guys yesterday who were saying, uh, Sheldon specifically was saying, you know, it was kind of weird because you'd be at practice and then all of a sudden, you know, you kind of get a tap on the shoulder and, and find out that you tested positive. Is that what happened to you or, or did you have some symptoms and that's why you left? No, I had, a, I had, had some uh, symptoms uh, on Tuesday. I, I, I woke up with a couple of body aches and stuff like that. And just really no appetite and just kind of a headache. So, you know, I thought, you know, I'm going to go get tested and make sure I'm good. And then, unfortunately, I was negative, you know, along with uh, some other players too. So uh, that's kind of how, how my situation went down. You'll be facing two pretty large Guys on Sunday, either, you know, either Sue or, or Vita Vey. I mean, those guys, especially Vita Vey, is massive. Like, what kind of challenge is that going to be? Uh, I mean, that's just going to be another NFL game. Uh, I feel like it's kind of what I'm taking away from playing the league. Everybody's good. Everybody gets paid. I've said that multiple times. Um, but yeah, I mean, Vita Vey is uh, the whole D line is really, is really good. Um, you know, good, uh, good up front. So, I mean, it's going to be a challenge, you know, real physical game. Uh, got to, you know, play a little pads and stuff in the run game. And, you know, uh, they like to run a lot of games, too, do a couple of things with the front, um, you know, mess around a little bit there. So just got to be under A game with pass protection, too. Um, you know, we're putting, together, putting together a good game plan. Um, I mean, it's going to be fun, you know, if I'm going to get some bucks. You were talking about the excitement of watching the game. So what was kind of your response when you saw Connor uh, get that in the end zone? Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, also, I was watching the game, and then I see Zach scramble, and then I see him throw it. But the TV angle, when I was watching, you couldn't really see who caught it. So I thought it was like a tight end. And they said McDermott. I saw 69, too. So I was lit at the crib. Uh, you know, they got a little dog pile going on. I wish I could have been that. But I felt like I was there, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that was a cool experience. I mean, not too often you see a, a big man touchdown, especially one like that. Yeah, I feel like it was pretty athletic of McDermott. Um, but yeah, that was, that was really cool to see. Do you think you have any touchdowns in your future? I uh, hope so, man. I'm going to have to uh, hit on Michael Fleur in the offseason. You know, let me, let me get a couple of those. Uh, let me get a couple of reps at that. So we'll see you. Uh,